Hi guys, <laughs> just enjoying some worship. Don't you guys just love worship? If you guys haven't watched our worship yet in our playlist, why don't you guys go do that now? Because today's one is all about some singing and joyfulness and, and how God answered our God, God answered prayer through that. So why don't you guys go do that if you haven't already done so? I give you my okay, all right, all right, fine, I'll start. All right. So welcome to today's lesson and I hope you boys and girls are ready for all that we're going to do today and I hope you guys are ready to, to pay attention. So let's close our eyes and bow our heads as we just open in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this amazing opportunity to gather in your name and I pray Lord God that you'll just speak to us through this lesson today and I pray that you'll just guide us and strengthen us in Jesus name. Amen. All right. Well, today's lesson comes from, to, from our memory verse uh, De Deuteronomy 6 verse 17 which says obey all of God's commandments now do you guys want to obey God's commandments that he's given us I know you want to right even the one that says obey your parents be kind to one another don't steal don't lie sometimes obeying God's commandments can be very 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 hard and sometimes we really don't want to right well today is about a story comes from why that is such an important thing so if, if you guys remember uh, last week we started looking at the story of Joshua and how they crossed the river well today's lesson is well the Israelites were in the promised land now they were in the, the land and they were occupying the land and they got God promised them as the city of Jericho and they said you can go and take the city of Jericho but Jericho was a really really fortified city and it was very very difficult to 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 get over so Let's listen to today's story about the story of Jericho and how the Israelites conquered the story. God's people were now in their new land, but this land was not empty. There were many people living in the promised land. These people had known God's people were coming for a long time, and they had strong armies ready to fight to keep God's people out. But there was good news. God told Joshua that his people would take over the city of Jericho the good news God gave Joshua instructions God told Joshua march around Jericho with your army one time every day for six days if priests carry trumpets made from sheep's horns tell them to blow their horns every day as you march on the seventh day march around the city seven times on that day have the priests blow the horn and make a long loud blast of noise when everyone hears that tell them to shout the walls of the city will fall down, and they can walk straight in. Now, around Jericho was a huge wall of rock. That wall was so big and strong, people had built houses on it. When the city gates were closed, no one could get in or out. Joshua told the people all about God's plan, and the Israelites listened to Joshua and got ready to do exactly what God was telling them to do. The Israelites all came together. Some of the army marched first, then, then came the priests carrying their box that held God's law. The priests blew the horns and more of, of the army got to step in behind them. And Israelites marched all the way around the city of Jericho. But the one only sound was the sound of the horns and the stomp, stomp, stomp of marching feet. After they had marched, Around Jericho one time, the Israelites went back to their camp. The people marched like this for six days, just as God had told them to do. Every day, the Israelites' horns and marching feet were the only sounds the people marched one time around Jericho. But on the seventh day, the Israelites marched to that huge high wall around the city and went around it the first time. Nothing happened yet. Then they marched around it a second time. Then they marched a third, a fourth time, a fifth time, a sixth time. And on the seventh time, the priests blew their lo longest, loudest blast they could make with their horns. Joshua called out, Shout, the Lord has given you the city. 
and the Israelites shouted. As they shouted, they heard a low rumble. Then the ground began to shake with noise. The huge stone wall around the city began to crack. Then the wall came crashing down. The army of Israelites marched straight in, just as God had promised. The city of Jericho was destroyed, except for one family. The Israelites protected Rahab and her family because Rahab had shown her belief in God by helping two Israelite spies. Rahab had tried tied a red rope outside a window as a signal for the Israelites. Rahab and her family left Jericho and went to live with the Israelites. The Israelites had listened to God. They had done just what he had told them to do. And now the city of Jericho belonged to them. Wow! Can you guys imagine just having the power of worship where you could just walk around the city and sing and dance and somehow God, answer, God makes the walls break down so they can occupy the city? That's so amazing! Well, there are so many things in our lives that God promises us that when we obey His commands, when we do what He says, suddenly there is a great and wonderful result. Do you guys know that? When we say God says obey our parents, He's not saying we need to obey our parents because He kind of just wants to, us to not have fun. He knows that when we obey our parents and when we do what they ask, we are blessed in that. When we, uh, when we don't steal, when we are kind to one another, when we, are, when we help one another, when we serve one another, when we obey God's commandments to do all those things, not only does other people benefit, but you will benefit as well. Wow, that's so amazing. So this, my challenge to you guys this week is to find some way of obeying God's commandments this week. Maybe you can read the Bible and write down a list of all of your favorite commandments and then see if you can make sure that you obey every single one of them intentionally this week. I want you guys to learn our memory verse Deuteronomy 6 verse 17 and I want you guys to pay very close attention to obey all the commands that the Lord God has given us. And when you do that, your lives will be blessed. Why don't you tell me about what happened to you when you obeyed God's commandments? Why don't you just send me a quick message on our Interkids Online WhatsApp group or you can um, come and find me at church on Sunday or whatever and come and ask and show me how when you obey God's commandments, God came through for you and blessed you. I would love to hear about it. Well, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget there's some activities you guys can do on the Google Drive. So click the link in the, uh, in the WhatsApp group and I hope that you guys enjoy the activities. I hope to see you guys on Sundays. Don't forget all on Friday nights. We are still busy right up until the end of the year. And I hope to see you guys there. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye guys.